from the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is 1011's Morning Pulse. Good morning, I'm Danielle Schenk with your Morning Pulse for Thursday, January 11th, 2024. With the second round of winter weather on the way tonight and into tomorrow, the Nebraska State Patrol is stressing the importance of being prepared if you need to drive when road conditions worsen. NSP recommends having a winter survival kit, including warm clothes, water, food, cell phone charger, and other items you may need if you become stranded. They say you should let your family members know of your travel plans and estimated arrival. If you do get stranded, stay in your vehicle and call for help. So far this week, NSP has responded to more than 350 weather-related incidents. 310 were motorist assists, with 37 being crashes and 23 helping other agencies. They're now urging travelers to always check the Nebraska 511 app for updated road conditions and keep a close eye on the weather forecasts. Our 1011 weather team will have the latest on this winter storm online and on social media. And when treating your driveways and sidewalks amid all this snow, make sure you're using pet-friendly salt. Officials advise taking safety precautions when walking your pet by limiting walks to 15 minutes, putting booties on your pets, or washing their paws afterwards. Without these protective measures, your pets can be exposed to the chemicals in melting salt and other consequences of being in the cold. In crime news, a UNL student convicted of sexually assaulting his roommate in April has been sentenced. 22-year-old Evan Milak was drinking with his roommate on April 7th of last year when he sexually assaulted her. Milak admitted to the assault during a recorded phone call with LPD. He was charged with first-degree sexual assault and sentenced to four to eight years in prison. Lastly, an investigation is underway into an alarming rise in electronic thefts involving low-income Nebraskans. Scammers are discreetly placing devices in card swipe machines at stores without employees noticing. In December, 444 Nebraskans reported their food stamp accounts had been drained, resulting in thieves skimming more than $260,000 from benefit transfer cards. Rounding out your headlines is a check of the seven-day forecast. You've been listening to 1011's Morning Pulse. Watch, listen, stream on the 1011 Now app, on YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts.